how some local families have been using the walls of their elementary school to show support for the Black Lives Matter movement. Kids have been writing messages of hope and positivity with chalk all over Hillcrest Elementary School in Catonsville, but someone is washing away their words and it was caught and was caught on camera doing it. WMAR 2 News' Megan Knight is live outside the school this morning and Megan parents and students say they'll keep writing the messages even if they get washed away. Yeah, that's right, Ashley, and you can see behind me here they have done just that. All these walls here on Hillcrest Elementary School covered with messages, most of them saying Black Lives Matter, BLM, lots of hearts, lots of flowers, lots of peace signs here along this school. And the messages keep on growing even as someone tries to erase them. One person caught on camera using a mop and a bucket to wash off the messages here. The school officials say it was an off-duty police officer from another jurisdiction, not here in Baltimore County, that was doing that. Parents we spoke to say kids started writing messages with chalk on the school when the COVID-19 pandemic closed it back in March, just encouraging people to stay healthy and uh, to be safe. But now that the focus has shifted to Black Lives Matter, it's all of a sudden become a bit of a problem. As word spread that someone was erasing these messages and the artwork, more people showed up to cover the walls, including Catonsville High School student Jack Kirk. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but I don't see a reason to try to disgrace others' opinions. And the Council of American Islamic Relations did post a screenshot of the person who seemed washing off the messages, calling on them to apologize. Both the principal and the Baltimore County Public School System do support the students' artwork, saying that they do have permission to write on chalk uh, here at the school. And we're told that this actually all started because of a 13-year-old boy who has a little sister who's adopted and she's black. She's expected to start at Hillcrest Elementary School in the next school year. And he said he wanted to write some messages on the wall just to make her feel more comfortable and welcome as she starts her new school year. We're live in Catonsville and Megan Knight, WMAR2 News.